Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the show. So excited. It's been, it feels like it's been so long since I've seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did take a few days uh, away from the screens, and uh, I think Amen. everything is fine. Nothing burned down. So you guys did a good job. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm excited and ready so, for this show. I mean, me to be too. honest with this you. Is, I'm ready to get I jamming so and get down. Guys. This is so awesome. Um, as you can see, we have a very special guest with us today. Um, we have Sheila from Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. Whoa, I'm so excited. Hey, y'all. What's very, happening, very Sheila? Exciting. So I am, as always, Sailor Guevara, and I am a brand ambassador from the PNW. We have <laughs> Handsome <laughs> Jay Madison with us from the ATL. And uh, up, Sheila, are you? You're Kansas City, correct? Correct. Kansas City, Missouri. The, okay. So, yeah, sometimes you have to explain which Kansas City, right? Yes. So Missouri I learned that. Show me state. <laughs> Got <Ooh>. it. <laughs> so, right. well, speaking of show me, um, I am thrilled that we are going to be working with one of my favorite things, period. I am not a sweets person. I'm not really a fruits person, you guys. I know that you're supposed to be, but I'm allergic to tons of fruits, unfortunately. Um, what? But watermelon. Oh, yeah, tons. It's so sad. Watermelon. I grew up eating it. Um, I'm Greek, and we call it karpuzi in Greek. Um, okay. We ate it with every before, after. Um, I just love it, and it invokes really nice summertime childhood memories. So... Sheila and I were talking. We're like, what? Let's do something together. What should we make together? And I was like, I have tons of basil in my garden. And I love watermelon, Ooh. right? Yes. So here we I, are. So we are going to throw down. We just got a fresh down. watermelon just came in from the store. My wife just rolled up for, from grocery shopping and has a fresh watermelon from the store. So I don't know if I'll be able to get it prepped and ready, but I'm just going to watch you all get down and get dirty. You know what? That's okay, Jay, because we're going to post the recipes after the show right here on the comments. Oh, Haley already put them up in the stories on Instagram for what I'm making, and then she'll get Sheila's recipes up there as well. So thank you so much, Haley, for that. So um, without further ado, Sheila, I'm going to go ahead and spotlight your video so people can see you a little bit closer and what you're doing. And um, you can tell us a little bit about uh Gangsta Goodies Kitchen and yourself, and then what you're going to make for us. Awesome. Okay. Hey, y'all, it's your girl Sheila in the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. So each week, <laughs> Taylor, we invite, well, outside of COVID, okay? So this these past several weeks has just been me in the studio, but uh, we invite members of our community into the studio, and we cook together, we eat together, and then I interview them. And we do this because we believe that the kitchen is uniquely positioned to help bring families and communities together one meal at a time. So I love, I love watermelon and uh, it brings back a lot of childhood memories for me too. Uh, my grandmother uh, lived in Louisiana. So in the summers, we would go to Louisiana and it seemed like everybody grew watermelon. So it was nothing to go out in somebody's backyard, a family member's backyard, and pick your own watermelon, okay? So uh, I, I, I'm not a big fruit eater when it comes to the fruits and vegetables. I'm more on the vegetable side. Mm -hmm. So, But watermelon is not too sweet. It's juicy. It's full of flavor. And what better way to kick off the summer sailor than with watermelon and whiskey, right? I agree. So I'm going to show just a basic, I'm all in. I like that. Uh, just a basic watermelon martini, okay? And so, of course, I love watermelon. So my little stick has lots of watermelon on it. And so, Yum. of course, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some Uncle Nearest Y'all. And uh, we're going to put a link in the comments so that anyone who is watching who does not know who Uncle Nearest is, we need y'all to click on that link and go check out the story, y'all, because it's important uh, that you know who Uncle Nearest was and the legacy that he left behind uh, for all of us, okay? So I got some of that good old 1856. I ran out of the mm. 1884, but I'm like, you know what, that 1856 will work. Perfect. So I really kind of keep this one for myself 
But when friends yeah. come over, I give them the 1884. It's still the good stuff, you know? Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, this is reserved mainly for me. <laughs> so here we go. Now, I am, um, I'm a whiskey Sheila. girl. Sheila, real fast, I'm that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. The 1856 is what you have, you know, that sits in the back a little bit. You know, the 1884 is cool for sharing and caring with everybody, but the 1856 is for special, special moments. So I'm appreciating that <laughs> yes. the fact you brought out the 1856 for this. Really nice, nice. Now yeah. we'll be quiet. So I'm going to use two ounces of this, you know, uh, 1856. We're going to put two ounces in the shaker, y'all. There's one. Yeah. And two. I'm always that customer when I'm out. I'm like, uh, can you hit me with another shot? Okay, that little one ain't gonna be enough. So, <laughs> I love it. Then I made some watermelon and basil simple syrup. Okay, Ooh. so we're going to put about a half an ounce of that in there. Then a little watermelon puree. Okay, mm, perfect. We're going to put about a half an ounce of that in there. And I don't know why this makes sense to me or why I think it tastes good, but I'm also going to put um, an ounce of lemonade, just plain old lemonade. Mm -hmm. We think alike. Wait till you see my drink. This is so funny. I love it. <laughs> we did not plan this ahead of time, you guys. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> and then, so of course, refreshing. I'm put that lid on. And we're going to shake, 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 y'all. Going to shake, shake, shake. shake. Yeah. And I always tell people you can hear the ice melting. And then when this gets all frosty and stuff, then you know it's ready to pour. So shake, That's shake, it. shake. Shake, <laughs> shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Here we go. Love it. You can't yeah. see me, but I was dancing. Very nice. Right. So y'all can see. And there we go, y'all. Oh, lovely. Looks so refreshing. Mm. Oh, yum. That's beautiful. And then the little chunks of watermelon, they sit down inside of there. And, mm. you know, as you're chit chatting and drinking, you eat those. Mm. I love that. <laughs> oh. yes. 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 That is beautiful. Thank you. Then I have um, just, you know, it's like, what kind of snacks? You know, when people come by, they stop by, they want a cocktail and a little snack. Well, you know, if you're like us, you know, you're busy and you know, you don't have all that stuff ready and waiting at home. So I took some jerk sausage. Uh, shout out to uh, Jerry Lawrence, okay. who is in Atlanta, Georgia area. He sends me sausage all the time. He has a farm. He makes all this stuff fresh. He doesn't have all the, wow. you know, the, the G is non GMO, all of that good stuff. And so this is a. You need to hook me up with Jerry in ATL. You need to holler at me. Yeah, you need to hook Jay up. He's in ATL. I'm in, in yes, Atlanta. I will. Absolutely. He Jay. would love that. Yes. And so I just took some jerk sausage and then I took little chunks of watermelon and mm. I'm just going to stick them on there like that. Ooh, and you won't yeah. believe this, but I left my uh, whiskey glaze, my watermelon whiskey glaze on the stove. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab it real quick. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to see Sailor. What's your stuff looking like? I know you're in the backyard back there. What's going on back there with you? Oh, I got all kinds of stuff going on. So I made um, goat cheese and watermelon crostinis. Don't know if Ooh, you can nice. see it. Can you put them? I'm going to have husband bring them closer to the camera so you can see it. Up Good job, there Robin. Great there job. we go. <laughs> your hands look immaculate, by the way, bro. <laughs> he said your hands look immaculate. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So this is a just a whiskey glaze. So I put watermelon puree, some whiskey mm -hmm. in it, some Uncle Nears whiskey, y'all, and a little bit of brown sugar, and that is it. Okay. And so then we're going to drizzle this on top of the sausage and the watermelon. Yum. Okay. That sounds divine. Look at that. Yum. Nothing mm. wrong with a little drizzle. Need a little drizzle. Mm. That is Drizzly. so simple and easy. That's so easy. Mm -hmm. I love that. Because nobody wants to be slaving over hot stove in the middle of the summer, right? Mm -mm. Exactly. I, I love it. Don't. Fantastic. <laughs> Yum. 
I'm gonna about to eat my Christine. No. I don't know. I think I'll make a mess if I eat my Christine. <laughs> Just turn Delicious. your hat to the back and get in there, girl. You'll be fine. Well, so fine. I so I decided to do some watermelon crostini. And it was, again, really simple. I wanted something really easy and something that you could make on the grill. So the whole thing, I just did my little um, pieces of bread right on the grill to toast them. I grilled my watermelon. Um, I have beautiful, beautiful grilled watermelon here. Oh, um, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit easier to, here we go. So there's my grilled watermelon. And um, and then I put some goat cheese on top, some herbed goat cheese, which is my absolute favorite. I like the mm. saltiness, but it's also nice and soft. And then mm -hmm. I did a little bit of basil that I just chopped. And um, then I also made a whiskey glaze as well. Um, super <laughs> easy to make. Um, yes. I did, and then I drizzled that on top of it. So I did uh, brown sugar and um, a little bit of honey, a little bit of garlic powder and whiskey. And again, we'll post the recipe to this. It was very easy to make. It's absolutely delicious. Um, and then I also have a cocktail that I'm gonna make uh, for you guys. And it's kind of the sister cocktail of Sheila's, I guess. <laughs> I so, um, all right. So I'm going to stir mine actually. And as I, as I was doing this, I realized I could have, I could kind of do a variation on this. So we'll, we'll do the first one and I'm going to use the 1884 since okay. Sheila used the 1856. All right. So I'm also going to do two ounces because this is a whiskey cocktail y'all. And, uh, we want to taste the whiskey, right? Yes. Boom. All right. I know I do. I might just be sitting mines on the rocks or neat. Well, you've got watermelon. You can make this afterwards. Um, I think and we I might have to make some more tonight. You yeah, do. For sure. um, I made sure. some basil and lemon syrup. So I just used lemon rind and basil. And so um, I'm going to do just about, let's say, um, two bar spoons of the syrup. And I can't wait to tell you guys what I called this cocktail, too. So that's my basil. Well, that means probably about a half an ounce for me since I got a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did, so I I grilled the watermelon and then pureed it. And of course I did that before the show. So um, I'm doing like probably about two ounces of it, putting it in there. And then I just want to do uh, one bar spoon of lemon juice to balance it out. I don't want it to be too sweet because you want it to be refreshing. And then I'm just going to do a pinch of cinnamon. Oh, okay. Okay. Just, just for I a little kick. I see. You know? <laughs> and I want to pull out the oakiness um, from the barrel and the whiskey. And so that was kind of my thought process there. And I'm just going to stir it because I don't want to add any air to it because uh, I've already liquefied in my blender, which is super easy to do. Mm -hmm. But the, the caramelization you get on the watermelon when you grill it is just so phenomenal. And it just gives you another depth of flavor. So this I'm going to serve in a coupe glass. And you can do it in a martini glass like Sheila did. And then I'm going to fine strain this. We'll see if I can do this without looking crazy, making a mess. I Looks just good so far. I know, right? Look at that. Don't be nervous. Don't be way. nervous, Taylor. <laughs> Hold steady. You're doing good. There you go. No pressure. We're just on Facebook. Only millions of people looking at us right now. I think millions. Oh, <laughs> Haley, are we up to millions of people yet? Sure we are. Ten million to be to be exact. <laughs> For sure. Okay. So the reason I fine strained that is I want it to be nice and light and thin. And then um, I'm just going to take a little bit of that lemon because I just want that. And I'm using the same lemon that I used to, to zest over the... I just want a little bit of lemon zest and I'm not going to leave it in the glass. Okay. And then because it's watermelon, my friends, just stick that in there, man. And you're just going to chomp away, right? And yes. here's right. your delicious cocktail. So I don't know about you guys, but I like to... Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Delicious. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. how you do it. Uh huh. Phenomenal. Uh -huh. Okay. So then I'm thinking, wait a minute. 
What if it's really hot, like it is right now, it's hotter than Hades in the PNW, which doesn't happen very often. Wow. So, I, was about to say. I have a quick little little variation we can do on this. So you're basically getting two cocktail recipes right out of one. So we're one. just going to do... So I like to give you guys lots of options. So you got today three cocktails, you guys. How cool is that? So we're going to do That's two ounces good. of whiskey again. Three is always you're a good number. You're, <laughs> you're going to do it right in your, right in your glass that you're going to drink Yo, it out yeah. of. So I'm using like a fancy pint glass. So we're going to do, I made a little homemade lemonade. So let's do about an ounce of lemonade. Okay. And then we're going to do about an ounce and a half of our watermelon puree. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and stir that really, really well. Right in the glass. Because why not? And you can do this out in a picnic. You can do this. Uh, like I'm doing it my out, you know, out my outdoor bar at a table outside doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more ice because I want it to be nice and cold. There we go. And then get your lovely Uncle Nearest Metal straw. Oh. And then again, a I need piece one of, those. of watermelon. And boom, you have a second cocktail. So it's like a little lemonade cooler is what you've got going on here. I so, love it. Boom. Let's see. Mm. Perfect. So light, so refreshing. It's not a heavy cocktail. It's not overly sweet. And you definitely taste the whiskey. The whiskey is the star. So yum. Yes. Mm. I'm going to have to try both of those. I'm so excited. I think uh, I think these will be definitely be stars for the summer. What do you guys think? I agree. Absolutely. I have to get a metal straw. Uh, I'm drinking water <laughs> as I'm watching my lovely wife, who's putting away all the all the groceries that came in on my podcast and seeing children run past upstairs. So I'm trying my best to keep sane, quiet. Look at the comments. Do some commenting. And so I'm just sitting here watching you all make some magic happen. I am uh, really impressed, and I look forward to making these daggone cocktails in probably about two hours. No lie. Yes. Yeah. So I'll tell you, I, I, Sheila, what? Tell me a little bit about. I mean, I think for me, the earthiness and that just little bit of like spice that comes with the basil is what I love about these flavor combos together. I think that that's kind of what draws me to it. I asked her right when she took a bite. <laughs> yes, I think too that the, you know, um, cause you know, I'm not a like a mixologist or a bartender or anything. And so I, but having worked in restaurants, you know, and of course I stay, I'm friends with the bartender wherever I work. <laughs> because Always they a great idea. <laughs> Genius. We know good and people. So just watching them, <laughs> and how, you know, their idea of using fresh herbs and how it just took the cocktail to the next level, you know, and yep. making their own simples instead of, you know, buying the ones that are pre-made. Yes. You know, you, have tea, you can do that at home. You got a pot, you got some sugar, you, you got it. You can do it. It's not it's not that difficult at all. Absolutely. We have uh, a very special guest watching, uh, Chef Gernard Wells. What's up, Chef? So hey, I Chef. made... Christinis and like you know, I don't know if they're restaurant quality, but they taste damn good. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and they look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, someone asked about um, the gla whiskey glaze recipe. We'll post that also. It's very very easy to make, and you can do it. Um, I can't remember who asked that. Uh, was it um, Marlena? It's far away, and I, I only have contacts oh, okay. on today. Um, but I <laughs> use the 1884. Sheila, did you use the 1856 or the 84? I did. So you know, okay. this glaze got a punch to it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you can you can use either one. They both work really really well. And um, brown sugar. You know, when I was looking up all the recipes for whiskey glazes, and it just seemed like brown sugar was the way to go. And my gut was saying that too. And yeah. then in hindsight, I was like, oh, I should have added a spice element to it. 
like yeah. maybe like just a touch of cayenne mm. especially with the watermelon mm. i'm not a, i'm not big into spicy but i just feel like with the honey too because i put honey in mine i did too i put a little honey in mine too <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that. A little cayenne pepper. I know. I'm gonna try yeah. it too. Next time I make the glaze, I, I only made a little bit, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Me too. I think I'm gonna put it over fish tonight and see how that tastes. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. What kind of fish are you having? So I think I'm, we're gonna do halibut. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yes. It would go nice. better on salmon probably, but I'll try it on halibut's mm. light and delicate, but mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I love so, it. Sheila, can you just for a couple minutes tell us just a little bit more um, about Gangsta Goodies Kitchen and just some of the things that you've done and things you might have coming up as well? Absolutely. So, and, and I tell everybody that I am uh, the, I'm the unofficial Uncle Nears person in Kansas City. So, yes. you know, I was so excited to hear that hear there's that. someone now coming and I'm like, Yes. So I've been writing down contacts and stuff. And so I'll be able to just shoot him that email. And even in St. Louis, you know, there's a couple of people uh, in St. Louis that he should definitely uh, connect with. But, you know, it is so Gangster Goodies is, again, we do this because we believe that the kitchen is uniquely positioned to help bring families and communities together one meal at a time. You know, when I was growing up, you know, the kitchen was, you know, the hub of the house, you know, everything went down in the kitchen, you know, to my mom and her friends, yeah. all there over my yeah. aunties and then all of that went on in the kitchen. I learned how, and I'm going to kind of date me myself to my age a little bit, which I'm very proud of it, but I learned how to play jacks on the kitchen floor. Mm -hmm. of course, yeah, my 13 okay. year old granddaughter is like, jacks, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that on the tablet? Well, is that a game? Why do you do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you have to sit on the floor and use your hands. Yes. Hand eye coordination, oh, yeah. my friends. Yes, yes. I played Jack once or twice back in the day. Once or twice, I did. I yeah. did. Same, yeah. same. Girl did it more, you know, not to be, you know, you know, chauvinist or nothing like that, but I did it once in a while. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> So we do so we do the show and then we are actually before the end of the year uh, we're going to introduce our spice collection and Ooh, okay. uh, so we're working on spices uh, we last year we didn't do a holiday ebook uh, but the two years prior to that we did and we plan on being back on track with that this year ain't nothing but a gangster goodies cocktail party y'all a twist oh, on I love it hey now <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, oh, yeah, we we got a, we gonna be made with Uncle Nearest. Yeah. yeah, we got we got to yeah. get you on with our guy Lavar, who's coming into St. Louis. So shout out to Lavar, by the yes. way, man. Yes. Yeah. yes, shout out Lavar. Can't wait to meet you. Yes, and indeed. so we do that. Then we have um, our Gangsta Goddess division of Gangster Goodies, and so okay. in, in the households across the world. It is the woman who is taking care of the nutrition of the family. And so she's doing that. She's working. She's raising the kids. She's dealing with the hubby and the booze and all of them. And she, you know, that <laughs> goddess needs some help. And so my oldest daughter uh, is the creative uh, genius behind Gangster Goddess. And so actually, I have on a Gangster Goddess t shirt. I love so it. We define a Gangster Goddess as a woman who refuses to accept mediocrity as if it's her final destination, while possessing a unique combination of beauty, brains, and spirituality. That's I against the goddess. It. I and love so, it. Her t-shirts, right uh, she designs amazing waist beads, you guys. I mean, like, oh my God. She hand strings everything. She picks wow. the beads, the crystals, to make sure for clarity. She charges them and all of that good stuff. And so... Wow. Uh, we are you know, continuing to develop that arm. And so the goal, Sailor, is like we see Rachel Ray's that one day you're going to look up and you're going to see me. Good. That yes, I sir. would like that very, very much. I love Multiple that idea. Forms. I like it. I like it. Well, so I forgot to tell you guys the name of this cocktail. And it is because of you, Sheila. I oh. named it R E S P E C T. Oh, boom. Nice. You. Cheers! You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
Thank you. I love I love your I love your story and the mission behind Gangsta Goodies Kitchen because as I said, I, I grew up in a Greek family and everything happens around food and the meals last for four hours. Yes. And there may be some screaming, there may be some crying, there's lots of laughing, there may be some dancing. Who yes. knows, right? Yes. Um, Who knows? My my beautiful grandparents and my grandmother on my father's side as well. I remember their if I think back now, knowing what it takes, right? As a kid, you don't know no. what it takes for all these dishes to come out for 50,000 people at the yes. table, right? Uh, knowing what it takes now, um, it was their life's work. I mean, that's all they did. My memories of them are in the kitchen. Yes. Uh, especially my father's mom. She had her spot. And when she passed away, that she had carpet in the kitchen. We won't talk oh. about it. Yes. It, wow. it was it was the it was That's post war one right there. Yeah, seriously. But it was worn down in her one spot because when she wasn't cooking, and I don't remember her sitting wow. and eating with us. So wow. I remember her being at that mm. place so that she could fill because <laughs> yeah. her house was a place where everybody showed up. And who I, I when I was little, I thought all these people were my aunts and uncles. I didn't know they were my aunts and uncles' friends. <laughs> right. It was that house, you know. You just, wow. And and right. for the Greeks, it was like, oh, you're Greek, come eat your family, and then yes. you're gonna eat until you die, basically. Yes. Um, yes. So, yeah. I but I, I appreciate that so much, and I appreciate what food means, and I know um, the intention behind things, and it, it became something that is my love language as well. Yes. You know, I, I give gifts. That's my love language, but it's by yes. service, right? Yes. All right. Mine too. Acts of service I'm is my number one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think bar well, bartenders and servers, and there's a reason why we gravitate to positions like that because we love to, we love to serve you something and see you have joy yes. and the joy that it brings. And that's a beautiful thing. And then it to is. do that with each other and when I'm now with my sister has, I don't have children, my sister does, when they ask to cook with me because I just want to cook for them all the time, the Greek lady comes out in me. Yes. Um, and, you know, and I'm, I, they've, they've all got knives and chopping and I'm like, I don't know if this is okay. Oh, my God. Um, I'm freaking out. <laughs> but <laughs> so far, so good. Uh, but yeah. it's a beautiful thing to share that with them. And, and, and I, it gives me a greater understanding of what it, what food means and how it brings yes. me together and, um, yes. We had uh, Chef Eduardo Jordan on the sh uh, show a couple weeks ago, and he's a two times James Beard awarded chef here in um, Seattle, Washington, but he's from the South. Yep. And um, he brought Southern food to the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is, awesome. you know, That's it's, big. A, it's a, it's a feat. Know. He had to make it very approachable and understandable. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, yeah. well, and we were, we were talking about when people have food journeys. Mm -hmm. And when you, so the first time I understood, truly understood Southern food was when I li was living outside of the country. I was in Belgium okay. and they have a very small African community because of the Congo. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I went to one of the African food stores because it's very homogeneous there. Yes. And I was like freaking out. Like, I know and my friends were like, what is this stuff? I'm like, black eyed peas. Yeah. And I was like so excited because I hadn't seen this stuff. And and that's when it dawned on me, like, dur, dur, dur. Yes. it's African food. Yes. Oh, yes. Because it wasn't Absolutely. always understood that that's uh, Southern food. Exactly. <laughs> I was in my 20s. I yeah. had time. <laughs> it, it um, but I love. It's still love, with us. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I love uh, your mission so much. And I think it's such Thank beautiful you. synergy with what we are doing as well. Yes. Um, upholding the legacy of Nearest Green, yes, um, and having beautiful Victoria, uh, who's a family member, and she's inside our company. And so, when we could touch and feel and see and understand, this wow. is her family. And to break bread together, to cook together, to create cocktails together is beautiful. Yes, and we're gonna I have to all it. get together down in Shelbyville. Gangster yes. Goodies will do the cooking, and then yes. <laughs> We'll shake up uh, some cocktails and just, you know, have a eat family style and have a good time. I you love know? it. The Uncle Nearest story is so, uh, and I tell it everywhere I go. I'm, and my daughter's like, Mama, you're talking about Uncle Nearest like he's one of our relatives. <laughs> But that's okay, right? Because isn't he supposed to be yeah. all of our relatives? Yes. Right? Isn't that supposed Absolutely. to be the point? 
Yes. Yes. I said he is our uncle. So. <laughs> And he, yes, and he, I should, tr we should all treat everyone as, you know, as family. And yes. yes, yes, he is one of our ancestors. I even light a candle for him now on my altar. So, yes, I love it. Amen. Right on, on that. That's really well, cool. With, that, with all the craziness going on right now, it's just a, such a good thing to to connect with each other. I mean, the the story of Uncle Nearest, the the brand, everything that we're, we've been. We've been doing them in these so few years that we've been out here. I mean, it all just connects and brings things together. And of course, it, it's a source of pride for us. And so it's, it's really good to see how people are just taking hold of the story, taking hold of the brand and just loving the whiskey. Uh, and it doesn't hurt that the whiskey is really, really good. So it helps out in all, all ways, you know, whether you're at the bar or back in the kitchen, you know, it just it just comes together. So uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to share. I love it. It I is. It. I do too. Sailor, thank you so much. I really You're so welcome. This I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> you know what's beautiful is that and and I posted on your Instagram where we won't go into that, but tough times right now in many ways. We'll yes. just say that. Um yes. there's yes. always darkness, right? Yeah. Um and I am so uh, proud of our company that what we have been doing here is shining a little bit of light in the darkness. And since yes. the pandemic happened, we have, it has brought beautiful things to us. And that doesn't discount the horrors that have happened, of course. And we honor Absolutely. that. We respect that. As you know, with Absolutely. our initiative, um, we have been able to donate over 250,000 masks. That is a huge feat yes. um, to huge. protect our community. <laughs> Um, but this too, yeah. bringing all the chefs we've had on here, had had we have had that opportunity to come together like this before, I don't know. So that's right. a beautiful right. thing right now. Right. Um, the fact that yeah. I can hold space for you and you, for yes. both of you, is a beautiful thing that yes. we can hold space together. That, yes. that is, mm. I find that a great honor. And it, I'm appreciative it. of both of you for that. Oh, right on, we it. down, girl. We are down like flat <laughs> tires. Whenever you come to ATL, we got you covered, baby. Yeah. For sure. yeah. It, it, so, is, it has been a definitely a trying time, but it has been a way that what what I kind of look. I, I talked to a friend of mine. It was funny is that because of everything going on with COVID, um, it's a lot of things that that are making people, in a sense, kind of you get you're, you're locked in shelter in place and you're you're in a, in a shell. So a lot of people have been mm -hmm. inside a cocoon. But you know what happens once you come out of the cocoon? While you're in there, a lot of creative creative juices have come back, have been have been, I guess, rebirthed in a sense. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's caused a lot of things to happen, which which are great. So in the midst of all this darkness, there's some light. There's a there's yes. there's a lot of light coming out of it. Yeah. And uh, really proud about you know the, the operation. My brother's keeper has been has been awesome with getting the mass out there, getting the message out there to a lot of folks in our community. Let them know. You know, put the put the mask on. You know, take yeah. care of yourself because disproportionately African Americans are dying from COVID nineteen, and that's yes. you know yes. we we got to do something about it. You know, it's, we got to do something. About it. So it's, it's really awesome to be part of that and doing that, then and knowing that we're just so much more than whiskey. I mean, and that's yes. that's real. Hashtag more than whiskey, by the way. <laughs> so, but uh, it, it's really good. It's really good, and, I, and I'm glad to be able to be in this in this in this forum and be here. I mean, heck, I wasn't. I wasn't on anybody's podcast. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about that. But I mean, the, the people that were meeting on here, I mean, this is awesome to be able to, to see Sheila. Now I know if I go to Kansas City, Missouri, you know, I, got way, you. I know I know somebody now. <laughs> you know, like, I, got you. I had no clue who the heck was in Kansas City. I got people in St. Louis, but Kansas City, Missouri, yeah, now I know. Right? So I mean, the, the yeah. word and, and the message about Uncle Nearest and the, and the brand is just is spreading and it's yes. spreading in a good way. Very organic. Yes. I love that. Yes. I really do. It is. It is. When I go into, into liquor stores that don't have it yet, I'm like, why don't you have it? I tell them who What's they're wrong with you. I'm like, you right. know that your brands will distribute this to you. So all you got to do is call them. They'll bring it. Right. Let's like, do oh, it. Oh, right. oh, yeah. I'm going to need you to get that on your shelves. <laughs> right. As, as well as I everybody watching, if you go in somewhere and they don't have Uncle Mears, they're like, you know, you need to get Uncle Mears. Matter of fact, I want yeah. you to order no Uncle Nears because I'm going to buy it as soon as you order it. So yes. they'll, they'll order yes. for you exactly. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are distributed in all all states. Um, and, and all you have to do is ask your favorite liquor store. There's no, it's, oh. it's that simple. 
Yes, it's super simple. You don't have to know anything but the name. They can type it in. They can talk to their distributor. They know how to do it, how to get it. It's very, very easy to do. So yes, right. we appreciate too. that. I'm working on restaurants too. My local restaurants, I'm like, where's, I, I want a, a old fashioned made with Uncle Nearest. Go ahead, Sheila. Go yeah. ahead. You're hired. Keep it gangster, girl. I am, for real. <laughs> I love it. That's good. Like, That's y'all want me to give you a good review, right? <laughs> I, I, I want that uh, Uncle Nearest in here. <laughs> I love it. Real quick. Yeah. Hook that up. Oh, my God. You guys, this was That's so good. much fun. This was yes. a blast. Yeah. And I'm I love the cocktail that you made. It was I mean, and this, oh my god, the sausages with the you guys, everybody has to make this stuff. And I want to yes. see your pictures yes. and please tag us yes. in your photos on Instagram or Facebook oh, yeah. and uh show us your cocktails and your and we'll yes. make sure. Um, I think Haley already posted the recipe for my cocktail in there. We'll make sure all the recipes are posted. Yes. How do people find you, Sheila, on Facebook and on Instagram? It is uh, Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. Uh, and then also on YouTube, it's Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. Every Monday, a new episode comes up. So at noon, uh, CST time. So everything is Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. So, yeah. Perfect. I love it. And uh, you can find us on Pound. Oh. The Rock on YouTube or Uncle Nearest everywhere else. And I'm easy to find. I'm Sailor Retro on everything. And Jay, your 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 little good job right there. You're Jay Matt. Jay Matt on the Rock on Instagram. <laughs> Jay Jay Madison on Facebook. You can find me. Shout out to saw my man Rod Jackson on here. Shout out to my man Rod. What's up, Rod? And Courtney too at the distillery. Yeah, so Courtney. Courtney. So yeah, we've you, had we've got a lot of friends anywhere. on here. T. Thank you, T, for being here. We've got lots and lots. Donald Higgins and so many friends on here. I'm usually uh, doing in charge of the comments and answering everybody. And you I guys know, are right? far away. I can't do it. So Jay's been helping out. And the lovely and beautiful I, Haley's I've been, been helping out. <laughs> you see, you I'm know little, how I'm hard it flow. is. You know, flow. I'm like, uh, hold on, wait a minute. What? Uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, someone's it's, it's in the back. Good. Someone's it's usually back there. my first time. Hello to every single person that comes on. Just saying. So, you know, I'm down one cocktail almost. I'm ready for my second. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. This there was a go. blast. Yes. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you for your Cheers. time. Thank you for your friendship. Yes. Likewise. Thank you for Cheers. being an advocate for the for our, our story and our legacy. Absolutely. And I appreciate you. And just for being a badass babe. Yes. Oh, thank okay, you. Yeah, you're a badass oh, babe, too. I was ready to ask you where your glass Thank was. You. We see it now. There we go. Uh, I'm right here Cheers. with you. Cheers. Sipping Nico. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers, Thank you so everyone. much, Sheila. You rock. Yes. Always. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you.